What's up, y'all? This is Kevin from DetroitCity.com, the social website that connects you with people and entertainment in Metro Detroit. And I'm on the line right now with none other than El Zai of Slum Village. What's up, El? Yeah, yeah, what up, though? What's the deal? Shoot, man. It's, it's all about you, man. The album, your first solo project, the album, the, the preface, is coming out. It's going to be in stores August the 12th, and the album release party is going to be at, at St. Andrews. Also, at St. Andrews, at the uh, record release party, it's going to be DJ Dez, the world famous DJ Dez on the ones and two, and uh, K Fresh, uh, Brent Toll Detroit. All right. Yeah, so, so what's up, man? I remember, <laughs> dude, what I, <laughs> I remember the first time that I heard you because it was on the Welcome to Detroit album. Oh, and man, <laughs> yeah, yeah, man, a lot of cats don't even know nothing about that record, man. That was that was really a classic record right there. Dilla really like did his thing, man. Like as far as like taking the sound to the next level, that was my shit right there, dog. Oh, oh no, dude, and you laid it down too, man. Oh, man. On that one track you was on, oh my goodness, dude. Oh, yeah. Midgets with triggers hitting inside of top hats. <laughs> Who does that? Who says that? <laughs> that was wild, man. I mean, I ran that joint back like four or five times. First time I heard it. Man. One reason why that record is special to me is because that was the first record that I ever got paid to do verses on. You know what I'm saying? Like up until then, I was just just on an open mic, killing MCs or whatever. And then like I go in every now and then and do my solo thing. You know, trying to get that popping with YG and Bling 47. Right. Like, but dude, that was like the first time, dog, I ever got paid to do a, a, a rap record. You know what I'm saying? And Dilla could have gave that opportunity to anybody, but he gave it to me man so that's why that album is like so special to me man like straight up plus it's the illest shit anyway so right 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 he, he he broke a lot of ground on that record yeah man a lot of experimental a lot of, a lot of experimental shit and that's why that's why i look up to dilla the way i, I did and still the way i do because i mean you know he did it his way you right. know what i'm saying like he made sure he was gonna do it his way regardless i mean this cat man i remember at one point I, it was a story where like where dilla was given an opportunity to work with insane but i guess he wasn't feeling them at the time or whatever so he didn't even return the call back and it's just like you know what i'm saying to like any other producer it's like with damn, let's go get that money, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But with Dilla, it was more like a love thing. Like, if he felt you, he was going to work with you. I just love the fact that he did it his way, and that's, that's, that's really, like, the model I follow to this day. Yeah, man. You've actually established a nice little track record for yourself as far as the uh, the mixtape and doing guest appearances and things like that. You had the Witness My Growth mixtape that came out uh, a couple years back, and also this latest joint you did that featured a couple of tracks from this new album, Europass. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so you've been doing a lot of promotional stuff, you've been on a lot of people's stuff, you've done excellent work on the Slum Village albums, right. and I just wanted to ask you, man, how does it feel to finally be releasing your own fully circulated solo project? I mean, how are you feeling right now? You know what, it feels great, man, because I mean, no matter what, you know, all the stuff that I've done in the past, I, I still feel like I have to prove myself. And not just to the listeners, but to me. Because there's so many levels I, I see myself reaching. I don't know, man. And, and another reason why I feel good is because really people have heard from me on the solo tip just mixtapes and kind of stuff that was just, you know what I'm saying, like thrown out there and wasn't really mixed correctly and, and, and put together like an album. I really love that my fans and, and enjoy it, you know, they, they support for me, man, because, you know, I came up doing it my way, you know what I'm saying, and basically they held me down. So with this new album, I tried to make sure that, you know, I set it up like an album, for real, for real. I gave them a variety of topics. Right. I made sure that it sounded good for, for my peoples, you know what I'm saying, and I wanted to show them that I'm capable of doing a lot of things, man, and I feel like that was the reason for the preface. The preface is really like the beginning of my story right right now that, that was gonna be my next question man the actual theme of the album is with the name of it being the preface it's like a beginning to something new like yeah. setting it off right now and this is just the beginning it's the beginning of, of my story because certain people might look at me and be like okay well you know they they might have heard like maybe motown 25 or something like that and kind of look at me like okay he's a battle mc 
And as other people might have looked at me going off of the, the EP out of focus, that I may be more of a personal kind of writer. Or another person might think that, you know, I'm, I'm just concept heavy. Or someone may just have picked up like, like a Slum Village record or maybe just heard the single and thought all I did was girl songs. So I wanted people to know that I was all those things, you know, for this record. And just give them a, a broad range of what I could really do. So if you didn't think I, I had it in me to do a song like Guessing Game with that's what I got on there. Or, oh my goodness. You know, I, I tried to make the best girl song that I could possibly make. Yeah. Or try to do the best battle cut I could possibly do. And just, you know what I'm saying, just let the fans know that I'm a real diverse individual. So the next time I come out with a CD, it's not really like a shock. You know, expect to see something new and different every time I drop something. Dude. I, you know what <laughs> and I don't, I don't I'm not sure just from listening to you that you really really are grasping the concept of what you're doing to the game right now man <laughs> you know you I, I mean I already know I ain't even heard, I ain't even heard the whole album yet but I can tell you this there's gonna be some cats that hear this and they they just gonna have to go immediately and pick up a pad and pen and like I gotta get to work <laughs> and for real man you 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 raising the I mean it's a lot of cats out there that just ain't up to standard, man. They they ain't jumping as high as you lyrically on this <laughs> album, dude. It's gonna be some brother. You sending some brothers to the lab right now, man. For real. <laughs> you realize? 